Dunkin' Donuts was founded in 1950 in Quincy, Massachusetts by William Rosenberg. Although Dunkin' opened in 1950, William Rosenberg actually started a different coffee business before Dunkin' in 1948 that eventually became Dunkin'. It was called the Open Kettle. This served similar items to what Dunkin' would sell. It, they sold coffee, pastries, and sandwiches, and in 1950, Dunkin' opened. The first Dunkin' Donuts restaurant is still op open today in Quincy, Massachusetts, the first location. He got the idea of starting his own restaurant after selling food at construction sites and factories where it was a popular to eat donuts, coffee, and pastries and sandwiches. The restaurant was successful and starting in 1955, he sold franchises to others to have successful restaurants of the Duncan brand. In 1963, William's son, Bob Rosenberg, became CEO at the age of 25 years old. And he also opened the 100th restaurant that year. Dunkin' Donuts was part of the Universal Food Systems at that time where they also had 10 other restaurants. Dunkin' Donuts was the most successful. And they sold, they started to expand their menu when they sold breakfast items to add to their menu. Universal decided to close the operations of the unsuccessful other restaurants and focus on Dunkin'. And with that being said, the company was renamed Dunkin' Donuts. The company went public in 1968, and the company was sold to Baskin Robbins corporate corporation called Allied Lions in 1990s. Dunkin' Donuts expanded throughout the 1990s by buying out rival chains Mr. Donut and Don Donut, which is also competitors at the time of Dunkin'. They renamed these restaurants Dunkin' Donuts. Through the late 1990s and to the early 2000s, Dunkin' Donuts would expand throughout the United States, mainly the Northeast. By 2004, Dunkin' Donuts was so popular that the The other previous company that were, was owning them was renamed Dunkin' Brands with Baskin Robbins. Well, over million, millions and millions of dollars in revenue throughout that year. It would have been kind of stupid if they didn't rename the company Dunkin' Brands. 2013, they unveiled a new store design which was not updated in seven years. In 2016, they introduced the first curbside pickup at some locations. Which I believe at all locations, if they have room, they actually have curbside pickup now where you can pick up your donuts, coffee, whatever. In October 2020, Duncan wanted to be acquired by Inspire Brands. And by later that year, Dunkin' Brands would cease to exist, but now Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins are still part of the company, though, but the Dunkin' Brands is no longer. And the trademark for Mr. Donut is still a thing. So maybe Mr. Donut will come back one day. I'm not really too sure. In September of 2018... It was revealed that Dunkin' Donuts was going to drop the donuts out of their name and just be called Dunkin'. And that most of their restaurants, of all not, of maybe most of, of not all of their restaurants were going to be called just Dunkin'. They said that this would better be part of their menu because they didn't just sell donuts. So they wanted to just be, they wanted to get away from the donuts name, which they carried since the 1950s. When they were originally called Dunk Donuts back in the 1950s. 
Duncan has 11,300 locations worldwide and 8,000 locations here in the United States in 41 states. I can't believe they're not in all 50 states, but only in 41 states. But they're starting to grow to 50 states at least. Thanks for watching this video in the history of Duncan.